We are back, everyone. 13 minutes past the hour. A little gloomy and gray out there. That's thanks. That's snow. <laughs> yeah, kind of ominous looking out there. Aaron, what can we expect today weather-wise? Well, we've already seen some snow falling across South Central. Additional rounds of snow look likely uh, into the afternoon and evening hours, which is just going to continue to give us more padding uh, with what has already been a wet month. You can see uh, that melted precip. When you look at the snow that we've already seen and you melt that down, uh, we're sitting at 0.87 inches to the good uh, when it comes to the amount of precipitation we've seen this month. In fact, uh, for the year, uh, for this year, we've only seen a handful of months where uh, our precipitation has remained below average, and that was January, March, uh, and September. And of course, you really have seen, uh, we really have seen most of that snow occurring within the past uh, month across South Central. And additional rounds look likely through the day. Uh, still holding on to fairly quiet conditions for Southeast, where that ridge of high pressure uh, is leading to additional uh, quiet weather today with more snow. Snow expected to arrive into the evening hours. Notice snow falling from southwest Alaska to here in south central. Uh, we'll pick up a couple of inches of snowfall out west as well as uh, through Bristol Bay and the Kuskokwim Bay uh, as we head through the remainder of your Tuesday. And then here across south central, uh, that snow continues to spread northward. And we're going to continue to hold on to that chance for some snow showers uh, this morning, becoming heavier snowfall into the afternoon and evening hours. We've got that winter weather advisory uh, for uh, western Prince William Sound and eastern. Kenai. That's primarily for turning an arm uh, as well as Whittier with some of those heavier snowfall totals uh, likely seeing anywhere from an uh, inch, uh, inch and a half to approaching uh, 20 inches of snow where we're seeing that winter weather advisory. So all of this moisture continues to stream back into South Central. It's cold enough for all locations to deal with snow this morning. Uh, there is a slight possibility that parts of uh, Prince William Sound could see uh, areas of wintry mix as those temperatures warm above freezing today. But uh, for many areas today, expect those temperatures to stay uh, in the 20s to near freezing. So we're going to see a gradual increase in snow showers for your Tuesday. Uh, again, we're going to see that heaviest snowfall arrive towards the afternoon and evening hours. Watch out for uh, some limited visibility where we're going to see that possibility uh, for some of those heavier snow bands. So snow builds in through the day. Uh, heavy snowfall beginning to arrive through uh, western Prince William Sound around 9 a.m. Uh, if you're driving south along Turnigan Arm, be prepared for uh, visibility down to less than a half a mile with some gusty winds, uh, which will help loft that snow as well. That, in addition to the snow that will be falling, uh, will lead to some hazardous driving conditions. That snow tapers off overnight. Uh, into your Wednesday morning. We're going to pick up several inches of some snowfall. Uh, and then you can see this active weather stays with us from Wednesday on into the close uh, of this week. So how much snow are we talking about per usual? The heaviest amounts will occur over the uh, higher uh, elevations of the Chugach Range through Whittier out towards Portage Valley, where we could uh, see up to 20 inches of snowfall. The rest of South Central likely going in the range of three to nine inches. Uh, unfortunately, we are going to see some lighter snowfall totals, or fortunately, depending on how you look at the situation, uh, out towards western parts of the Kenai, from Kenai down to Homer, uh, where we likely will pick up just one to three inches uh, of snowfall. So snow showers building in across uh, south central through the day, warmer along the coast. We'll see uh, 30 degrees in Valdez, 38 in Cordova, uh, where we could see some areas of wintry mix through the valley, as well as the Anchorage Bowl. Uh, those temperatures warming into the mid to upper 20s. Alieska seeing the possibility for up to a half a foot of snowfall. Uh, that snow tapers off tomorrow morning. Winter officially begins Thursday. We welcome in Christmas weekend with more snow in the forecast. Yep, and there's Santa right there. He's coming. <laughs>